That is the craziest <laughs> shit to me, dude. Mind bomb. The mind bomb thing was crazy. Like I, I want one and I can't get one now because they're fucking they're all sold out. If you if you find one that's reasonably priced, I'll pay for it. about this on the uh, on our true first video first appearance of the video game spider-man ps4 Spidey. i'm gonna buy this his own world his own father treat me like a like a holy dude We got Hellboy maple syrup pancake beer. Yeah, we get that's a lot to get it for free. Yeah, that's, that's so we have to get there early. So we get a pint of maple syrup pancake beer. We get a um, Liz Sherman. I don't know if I want that. Well, let me there's six of them. There's Liz Sherman. There's Abe Safety, and there's Blood Queen. I, I gotta try this. Wow. Oh my god, it's like it sounds ridiculous, but. You can only get two bottles per person. Um, wow, it's like only two bottles. It's limited. It's one of six types of beers. It's limited release, and they're doing pints as well. This is, their, this is the release party, so I think you can get the bottles. It's not going to sell it, but they're going to have stuff on tap for us to drink try. there. Yeah, and so I want to do like take a taste test. Yeah. yeah, so we should take some bottles home. Then it looks so cool in the studio and in the set. Like in some bottles or something? I don't know, just in your kitchen. Yes. Just do it anyway. Yeah, yeah, just have the bottles up. It's a nice decoration. Have an Abe Safety in the view. What's in them? He's it's, blue, right? He's the blue yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's Sapiens Indigo Blue Fruit Ale. Yeah. Okay. We're going to try it. But here's, the cool, here's the coolest part. The alcohol content, 6.66% on every single one. Yeah. That's <laughs> 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 Hellboy super fan with the tattoo to prove it shed some light on the unique beer flavor. He wanted some noodles he wa for breakfast. He wanted noodles, but he was forced to eat pancakes. He didn't want to eat the pancakes, but he did. And it turns out he loves pancakes. So that's why this beer tastes like pancakes and it makes me happy every time I have a sip.
this is what we got. Donny Cates spiked a handful of books last year, yeah? Digging a Carnage, Mindbox. Right off the bat. Yep. He doesn't own a copy of Carnage, Mindbox. That seems odd. That seems very odd to me. Let's fix that. Alright, hey. What are you doing? You. What is this? Absolutely. Oh my goodness. You need to own a copy oh, of this book. Oh, my sweet, sweet baby. My sweet, sweet baby. Alright. Have you read it? I've read it, but a lot it's of people have it. It's the fucking craziest shit of all time. It's, it's, it's insane. It's fucking insane. So here's the real story behind it. I found it in a very pivotal age. I was like nine or ten or some shit when I saw it. And I'm reading this book that like my parents just assumed that comics were cool and like that nothing was wrong in them. The thing is, it fucked me up. That book is legit. Like I just like poured over. I like read all the drawings in it and everything. And like Kyle Hodge is a fucking madman, dude. We, I got Kyle to do some of our carnage stuff now because of that book, right? Yo, so I'm just gonna read this shit. So I'm not even gonna really take care of it. So. Yeah. Is you that, do, it's your, that hurt this your is feelings? your copy, man. I it roll shit up and put my pocket. I, I brought this, and I'm like, you know what? The off chance that you still don't have I mean, a, a copy. I'm looking. Oh my god. It, okay. It's, 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 it's like yep. hard it's to the look mind at, dude. Of a serial killer. Yeah, dude. He like, like this, this is, is a parent's nightmare. It's, this is. It's awesome. He fucking. He drills a fucking Ooh. hole into this dude's head and fills and like there's like pictures of like Lee Harvey Oswald's oh, rifle and shit wow. in it. Okay. Look, he like makes a corkscrew. Hey, look at this shit, dude. Is it just a one shot? Yeah. It's a one shot. And look, yeah. he drills into this fool's head and he's like, this is how I see the world. And like rips open the fucking page and he's just like, this is me. Like it's fucking crazy. But um what's cool about it, I made some I made some kind of offhanded comment about it. At one of the Marvel retreats, and Tom Brevert was like, "Dude, let me tell you about that book." He was like, "I edited that book. I almost got fucking fired." Because Bill Jimmis, who was their editor in chief at the time, was like, um, "I want you to do. I want you to make an, an R, like an R-rated Carnage issue." This book was real hot, hot at the time, right? But he was like, "All right, that's what you want." And he hired fucking Ellis, who is not the dude that you want to tell to go crazy to. So he got Ellis to come in and Kyle Hodge, and then this issue came out and went to the fucking printer and Jimmy saw it. And was like, what the fuck is this? And he was like, isn't that what you wanted? And he was like, no, <laughs> fuck. And so like they 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 tried to pulp the entire run, but it was too late. It went out. And then, so, and then little Donny Cates cool. got I it. found it. And then, uh, yeah. so is that one of the things that kind of like set you on that path? Because I know Venom was a big influence. Yeah. yeah. Um, I never wanted to be in comics, man. I never wanted to do. But these like, stories from like that you wrote when you were a kid, right? It's all in your head. Yeah, but I never, I never thought about. I never, I, I used to do this. It's just fantasy. All my friends, all like, I remember I used to. I remember I used to tell my friends because I was like the comic book oh, dude. Oh I used to tell my friends just like made up facts about it. Like uh, <laughs> I would say like this green slime is because that's how the symbiote processes like bullets and stuff. Like, like breaks it down. That's the green slime. And here's the thing: all those were lies, but now they're all fucking canon. So I wasn't lying back then. I was just ahead of my time. Dude, Venom has wings because of you, not because of Rune. Does a what? Oh, Rune. Yeah, that's right. I know the intricate. Can you hold this for me? Oh, absolutely. Oh, man. Oh, Marvel, man. Oh, my God. Here, hold, here hold this for me. Yeah, hold, hold some, some original, original art. art. That's too stressful, man. That's, man. Look at that. Wow. Oh, my God. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that line work. That's from Avengers oh, Spider Man. Oh, man. Armor. ASM. What is it? What number? Avengers Spider Man. It's a 10? Dude, we're. This is Avengers 10? 10, yeah. Dude, oh, that changes everything. That's it right there. That would be when I just oh don't hold it anymore. Oh my god, dude. Where did you get this? Jeffrey Dotson. Where else? The man is here. So as promised, she apologizes. Oh. As promised. Dude. All signed. All of them signed, dude. All of them signed, man. That's fantastic. Cool, man. Yeah. Oh my god. This is so cool. Okay. That is so nice of you. Thank you for this. Oh, and I'm yeah. <laughs> Dude, thank you, thank you. Thank you, man. Let's keep talking, alright? Alright, give yeah, my info. It's comic karma. It's a thing. It's, it's a thing. Really a it's, thing. It's, it's like legit a thing. Thank you, friend. Jeff. Yeah. You teaching him young? I'm teaching him real young. Those are the junior gurus right there. <laughs> Brennan and Olivia Edkin. Yo, comic fam, Emerald City Comic Con was so much fun. 
and I gotta say, it was fun because of you, the community who came out to say hi. It's motivated me so much to come back and make more content for you. Um, I got so much positive feedback and constructive criticism that it was just, it felt really special. It was a very unique con and I do appreciate everybody coming out to say hi. I want to give a quick little thank you to the Golden Age Guru for helping us at the end of the con transport like 30 short boxes last minute. We got a collection and without him, we wouldn't have been able to do that. So thank you so much, Jeff. I want to also give a quick little shout out. Let me move over to the side here to Hills of Comics. You got to go find them on Instagram. The link to that Instagram page that you need to follow is in the bio below. These guys are family. I've known them since I was 13. They're at every show out here in the PMW and they have a shop out in Auburn, Washington. Uh, very trusted dealers as well as just really good people you should be supporting. I also want to give a shout out to Disc Heroes out in Oregon. Another really, really valued member of the community. Um, a great family who just provide a really good service and deliver awesome awesome comic books to the community that they care about so um, links to both of their pages below thank you let me know what you think of this vlog we're still experimenting here you know we do a lot of conventions and we want to make sure that we're entertaining you any ideas of stuff you like to see in future vlogs we'd love to hear about it in the comment section below if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button we do make a lot of comic book content and we'd love to have you join us as always geek responsibly <laughs>